On the February 29th episode of Full Frontal, Samantha Bee proclaimed, We have never seen anything like this presidential election. Well, CNN would beg to differ. Its new six-part miniseries, Race for the White House, premiering March 6th at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard, examines six pivotal presidential campaigns and finds that over the centuries, campaigning is pretty much the same as it ever was. In my entertainment blog this week on MillionaireCorner.com, I talk with Timothy Netfeli, an historian who participated in the series. He puts this year's outrageous race in historical perspective, telling me this is not the first time there's been negative campaigning. It's not the first time that the pundits are getting it wrong. This is not the first time that there are surprises. And this is not the first time that the outcome of this whole process is so very unclear with a little over a half a year to go. Netfully jokes that the CNN miniseries plays out as a less cynical house of cards. The association is apt. Kevin Spacey is a co-producer and also serves as narrator-in-chief. In addition to the 1960 race, the first season will recreate the 1820 Andrew Jackson, John Quincy Adams contest, the 1860 campaign between Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas, the 1948 Truman-Dewey battle, the 1988 George H.W. Bush Michael Dukakis, and 1992 Bill Clinton George W. Bush campaigns. Each is told through archival footage, commentary, and dramatizations. But knowing who won these elections does not diminish the drama. The drama, Natfali told me, comes from learning how a candidate won the election. The first episode, which recreates the 1960 race between Richard Nixon and John F. Kennedy, illuminates how for Nixon, the campaign was a watershed moment that warped his view of American politics and set the stage for the dirty tricks of Watergate. Thanks to the 24-hour news cycle and the internet, this is a great time to be a political junkie. But here too, Natfali says that this is nothing new. Americans have been interested in politics since the expansion of newspapers, he told me. We see the important role that newspapers play in the process in the episode dealing with the 1828 election. Newspaper sales reflect people's interest, and they were able to sell lots of copies back then when there were more edgy political stories. So is this 2016 race too edgy? We have a bad habit of thinking that things are the worst they've ever been. But Nat Feli tells me, if you're saying 2016 is the worst, then it means that the country is going off the rails. I would look at it with a more optimistic approach, which is that this country has had to deal with dirty campaigning since the beginning, and we've managed to survive it and get some very good presidents. Check out our complete interview on MillionaireCorner.com. I'm Donald Liebenson, and I approve this blog.